Not sure if I like Dracula better or this idiot. Cruise director. Doing a scavenger hunt, and Space Camp is playing against Camp Crystal Lake and Lake Minnetonka. It's from Purple Rain, North Star. I don't remember, but anyway, the people are all here uh, up to the shenanigans. We let the uh, people in, the stewards, and we got our first creature. That's a lobster. I recognize a lobster when I see one. It's a towel lobster, which is good because we were out of towels. I am uh, sporting my new 80s hat uh, for the cruise. So, all right. Ready? Hit it. We gotta take Steven to, uh, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> oh, interview with Mark Goodman. All right. I should keep everybody up to date on what we're doing. Uh, Steven is gonna be doing an interview with Mark Goodman, the original MTV VJ. And, uh, I'm going up to his room. He's on the ninth floor. I'm on the third floor. I'm walking because uh, no elevators this trip. And uh, from there, the interview takes place in a place called the Pac-Man Lounge, which is on level five, which is the level I'm on right now. For some of these other events, I would get a security escort, like when Stephen plays a concert here. They take us around the back. Stephen is not going to walk the stairs, though. It's very quiet right now on the boat. I don't know where everyone's at. Whew. Stay tuned. Show you the one with Amy Mann. Yeah. Oh my god. That's so funny that you have Oh my god. You know what? Yeah. I never I have this shot and I was look we just saw Amy opening for um for uh, uh Jason Isbell. Oh wow. So see Jason in Radio yeah. City. And she was opening. I had no, no idea. No way. Yeah. So How I was like, cool. I got to you know, and my wife is like, is she going to do Voices Carry? <laughs> I know the only song. She oh, no. oh. Rotten Road. I am a late believer. <laughs> so um, we're, I'm going to try something a little different here with Steven, and hopefully it works. So please roll with us here. It's a crap shoot. Yeah, OK. okay. My life is based on a show that I, I did for years at Sirius XM. Uh, and I used to call it the soundtrack of my life. And basically the idea is I've asked Steven to pick three songs. Not just, oh wow, that was one of my fucking love that driving in my car, not that. Songs that have an emotional connection, have a story behind them that really resonate on a deeper level than just, yeah, I fucking love that one, you know? So that was the idea. We got three great songs and that will hopefully kind of tell a bit of Stephen Piercy's story. We'll see. So here's what we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, yeah. do sort of, you know, surprise everybody. We'll cue the song, play a little bit of the first song, and um, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. All right? All right, he's got his sunglasses on. I hate lights. <laughs> I hate lights. Every last night, you see me going. Wait, are you the one front man who doesn't want to fucking spotlight? 100%. 
And I'll tell you why is because I did this festival one time with with the band Rat and and I was walking down the uh, uh, runway walkway thing right. There's no mon uh, no stop sign right. It was just a plank walking the plank and I fell. <laughs> And uh, it was the end of the show, and the end of my kneecap. <laughs> so I hate lights. Well, that's, I, I know you had heavy duty surgery on your knee. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm evil can evil, part two. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're becoming the bionic man. Yes, I am. How about any shoulders? Do you have your original shoulders? No, but one's going out, we won't get <laughs> I, I'm beat up. <laughs> we would hope that. That's what we want from Stephen Piercy from Rat. We want to be fucking beat up. Hard ass. Well, I'll tell you what, my manager, Marshall, uh, Marshall Burrell, um, told us a long time ago, he goes, you know, rock and roll is a dangerous occupation. And it is. <laughs> From L.A. And I moved to San Diego because I was, uh, my, besides my mother getting remarried, and I was off as a pit crew guy with a drag race team coming home from Indiana. So anyway, I end up in San Diego. So a friend of mine, a guitar player guys, and I really wasn't into you know hardcore playing quite then because I had this bad accident and started playing guitar. But a friend of mine kept going, "You gotta see this band called Van Halen in L.A. They're playing Bizarries, right?" And I'm like, "Hmm, okay, I'll try to see them." Okay, and he was relentless, relentless. And then, sure enough, I went, "Okay, I'm gonna go see this band." I know how they do it. You go backstage and you hope to see one of the band guys, you know, girls take another route there. <laughs> Maybe some guys, I don't know, but not me. <laughs> but, so I go, fuck it, okay. So I got a pocket full of joints and I drive myself up to the Whiskey and Go-Go and I park right there near the old Motley apartment there on, uh, I think that's the street, what's that street? Clark. 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 And anyway, so I fucking wait there and I'm sitting there and I go, I kind of know what they look like, okay. And granted, I'm up here from San Diego. I didn't know if I was driving home, driving home or what, right? So anyway, I'm like, and I see Dave and I know it's got to be somebody in the band, right? Yo! So he's walking up the steps and I just yell, hey, you want to smoke a joint? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And she's like, yo, yo, wow, okay, shoot me down. And, and we're getting all fucked up, and I go, I don't want to hang with this guy. I want to meet the guitar player. I was into guitars and old amps and shit. So anyway, I I um, I'm in. So I'm in the whiskey, and I've never been there. And it was their, I believe, the first or second time playing there. They weren't quite yet signed, although they probably, I don't know. That's a that's a touchy one. Um, by the way, when Ed and I ended up becoming really good friends, uh, and and we never really talked about music, you know, it was like what, what you talk about this or what talk about race life? cars, life, life, life. That was good. anyway. So I'm at the whiskey, and I'm like, fuck this guy. I'm almost stoned already, Dave. Give about. So I <laughs> I go find Ed, and he's in there doing his thing, right? And sure enough, we hit it off, and I go, yeah, I drove here from San Diego, and, I, and a friend of mine's been trying to have me meet you guys, or see your band since Gazzari's. And so, anyway, uh, we become friends. I watched the show, he's like, come on up and sit on the stage. And I did, I sat cross-legged at the whiskey, just blowing my fucking mind, going, oh my God, people have to know about this band, right, Van Halen? So anyway, long story short, uh, Van Halen, I was, I f actually literally uh, uh, took notes the first two years hanging out with those guys, you know, and he so talked you... me into going to LA, going, you got to get up here. Oh, he you talked you into moving. Like, yeah, you got to move up to LA, you know, so I went, fuck it, January 1, 1980, I'm going to LA, if you guys in my band want to go, good. If you don't, I don't give a shit. I'm going. <laughs> That's where it's happening. Was this Mickey Rat? Or Mickey before? Rat. It was my band, Mickey Rat. Uh, two Gs. And and that was it. I, I moved up and kept in touch with them. And they were already off and running doing arenas. I mean, when they played the uh, first time they played the San Diego Sports Arena, 
Um, Ed didn't have enough, enough gear. So he calls me and he's going, I need cabs, I need cabs. Can you? And I called everybody I knew and I go, this is my chance to, to show these guys this fucking band called Van Halen, right? You want to see the real shit? Bring your cabs, come to the sports ring, and Ed needs your shit, right? So anyway, uh, long story short, we became good friends and uh, well, yeah, they got me, literally, I studied their schematics, when he, you know, the big rock. And in music was just by, literally by physical accident, getting a run over and <laughs> breaking both legs, and long story, I, I got better and broke more bones. <laughs> EP in 1983. You got it. Tell the world and, and those songs. I wrote yeah. some of the first songs I ever wrote. In uh, 1978, 79, they just happened to come out in 1983 when you get a record deal or you put your own record out. <laughs> Was it about this business? Because you, you made a decision. You said we were, you were into into drag racing. So that that was a you said you were in a pit crew. Yeah. Why segue from that to rock and roll? Was it is it the same as, as so many others? Yes. Girls. Three words. Fast, dangerous, and exciting. You mean drag racing, right? I mean rock and roll. Well, well rat and roll, so yes, yeah, I yeah, 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 I do. <laughs> and I think we lived and improved it and uh, learned from it, you know. But, uh, so you know, in an odd way. You breaking both your legs was was a godsend. Yeah, a real strange one. Yeah. <laughs> Smashed one and broke the other. Yeah, and it took a long time to get to walk, literally. So I, what did I have to do? I played guitar 20 hours, 24 hours a day. And thank God my mother, uh, I mean, I'd have these crazy parties at her house. <laughs> She would just leave and let me do whatever I want. Oh, go ahead, play your guitar, play, have your band play, and I charge a dollar a head to get into a keg party, you know, that kind of stuff. You guys do that? Keg parties in the backyard? Right? That, that's where the place that Van Halen started out playing. Exactly, exactly. I never went to those. I hear they were notorious, you know. I, I met them at a certain time. And I gotta tell you, the first time seeing Van Halen in 78, if you, if any of you guys had that opportunity, it is pretty fucked up. I mean, it's just like, what the fuck? I mean, they were arena, an arena band at a club. That's how insane they, and good they were back then. I mean, Ed, brother Ed, what? go there and, and uh, just trip out and go, this guy is just a miracle. And I'm, nobody's ever heard anything like him, you know? Yeah. Who, so, out of that era, who else did you smoke joints with? <laughs> <laughs> Probably everybody. And now you can do it anywhere and smoke anywhere. Right, it's no fun now. It's legal. Yeah, it's legal. Uh, legal things aren't fun. So, but that, that moment, I, I'm curious about your, your take as a kid coming up, not being a part of the scene, but landing in that scene. Mm -hmm. What was it for you? Just followed Van Allen's schematic, play Gazzari's, get to the whiskey, and it worked. With a lot of hard work. Well, with a lot of hard work, indeed. But you guys, Rat is, you're among the architects of that sound. I, mean, I, will, I will, Van Halen is first, but. Yeah, yeah, I will, I won't take all the credit, but yeah, we were kicking in the door first. The, the guitar, the way, the guitar style that Robin had, you know. And, Warren. And, huh? and, and Warren. Warren. That's what I mean, you two. And that sort of uh, chuck it, you know. Double with, guitar attack, all yeah. that Aerosmith. Yeah. That's what I wanted because I was playing rhythm guitar and singing in Mickey Rat for up until Jakey Lee was in Mickey Rat, and that was 1981. Um, but yeah, I was rhythm guitar guy and everything, and I went, no, I want a two guitar band. I like Aerosmith, uh -huh. you know, or I like that set up, you know. <laughs> Any of these people put things on all their doors. Oh, they take it. 
and it's nice it is kind of a fun thing and uh so you say you're back on a uh, bazooka yeah i got wrist rocket <laughs> that's funny they don't have anything to give it's just <laughs> i like that one i like it cousin eddie can I take Johnny, one? what do these people have? I don't know, but look at this. Oh, look that at looks this. like fun. Yeah, yeah, that one looks too. This looks like fun. I hope they don't think we're stealing. But they know it's encouraged. Oh. Stealing is encouraged. It's going to come up swinging. Juniors give Oops. great swag. They do. Oh. We should remember these people. Airheads. They, they have Sebastian, but then they have Steven. Oh, so oh there he is right there. Look. Mm. Well, then we can take Let's more. give him a better spot. Yes, I agree. We'll Better that way. When in Rome really needs it to be lower also, I think. We should probably put this in order of importance. Oh. Well, Marky Ramon's all right. Never. Legend. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The only person on this wall in the Hall of Fame. Downtown Joe Brown, yeah. Did what you else? guys write rat rules on our thing? Here's Steven did it. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. knew Really? Yeah. I knew. <laughs> well, I was hoping. It was his, yeah. yeah. Nice. No, he did it. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. I love that. I was <laughs> uh, That's great. Uh, you guys are in spirit. That's what you want. Apparently, each day has a different cake. Wow, look at that. Today's sail away cake. It must be heavy metal day, right? Look at that. That's the ram it down. This full of metal glove. Windstorm. The wind doesn't stop these people though. I'm trying to have a good time. But it is very, very uh, windy. Gale force wind. The safety, the lifeguard is on duty. He's ready to spring in there at any second if needed. rider which is a water slide but I mean it is really really windy I've got to hold on to this phone a very tight it's windy and it's slippery and it looks like it's still happening oh shit I, I, all the time we've been here I've never done this can we get in this? I want to try this. Yeah. Michelle, you want to go first? All right. Right in there. You think you're going to have, you're having a nip flip. Get in there. Get it, Johnny. This is a good workout. Are they all connected when you get in or? All right. Well, Johnny's coming in and I'll, I'll be in there shortly. I wanted to show this Michael Jordan statue. It's allegedly Michael Jordan, but as you watching know, he's never worn number 32. But there are uh, statues all around the world incorrectly numbered, probably to avoid a trademark issue. Johnny uh, from Chicago, obviously paying his respect. To MJ, I also wanted to show this basketball court because this is where the year uh, prior on the Monsters of Rock, Nuno Betancourt uh, suffered an injury. Uh, and I think they stopped having the rock and roll uh, basketball tournaments. It's funny as they asked if any of the PRC members wanted to do it, and Johnny thought Nuno would be too competitive. <laughs> and this, I think, is the highest point of the boat. And, uh, about to work high here. This is uh, for a Rocka Vodka, which is some shit that D. Snyder is hawking. They're doing free samples. 
and tastings and giveaways and I don't know, some other bullshit. And uh, in our quest for fun, we'll check it all out. All right. Complimentary ice cream, the Arctic Zone. John, are you gonna have ice cream? It's a connoisseur of art. Are you gonna have ice cream? Ice cream? Johnny, look, Michelle's having a full 80s experience. She's already flustered by the stupid Rubik's Cube. I hate this thing. <laughs> We've all gone crazy. And when we were kids, sometimes we'd take the stickers off and move them around. But I don't recommend you do that. No. Keep working. We'll check in with you later. You can watch the performances uh, in your room on the TV. And some of the uh, performances, uh, but this is like, this is like a, a board recording. It comes right from the board. It's harder to watch and you can't hear any audience noise. But uh, uh, as you can see, Debbie Gibson. And uh, wait. Stephen Piercy following Debbie Gibson tonight. This is the bill you've all been waiting for. A heavy metal icon, Debbie Gibson, followed by Stephen Piercy of Rat. So uh, tonight, Debbie Gibson is playing from 6.30 to 8, and then Stephen will play from 9 to 10.30. And uh, boat's moving a lot. And uh, yeah, anyway, see you soon. Never thought I would be seeing Debbie Gibson on a cruise. Check your love. No. All right, it's time for uh, to get ready for Stephen's second and final show of the cruise, and uh, we're going to the merch to close it out. It's strange; the merch closes at 9 p.m. here. It's in a gift shop, uh, but they close at nine. And Stephen plays nine to 10:30. Uh, Debbie Gibson just finished, so we're gonna go and get. Uh, get that merch because tomorrow Stephen will disembark in Aruba. I will stay here for the entire eight days, but he wanted to leave and he will and fly home from Aruba. So here we go. This is day three, I think. See you a little bit. Steven, you want the whole thing, right? <laughs> he told me, I'm like, we're gonna get the whole thing out there for you. That would be kidding You want to just sit at, yeah, yeah, I'll be talking, yeah. Should probably be fine. He's gonna look onto it right now. Is it, how much higher is it than the drone monitor? It's, it's I think it's exactly the same. Oh. It looks pretty close. Yeah, right. I'll try to see if I can find it out. Anchors away, Johnny. Is it supposed to do that? <laughs> it never happens when I'm recording, but it, it is it is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it does seem to have a There was a report of a lunatic laying on the ground. I'm not sure it's true. Oh, there he is. Are you okay? Do you want to take something? They're not drowsy. They're just like chews. These are all natural. These are all natural. Which one's better? I like these a lot. That's just me and every work. They're I mean, lids, man. Yeah, no, lids. They're not lids. <laughs> you get a bit more. You're gonna be so it's high. Just a ginger <laughs> kind of lemon candy. Yeah, you gave me one yesterday. Yeah, it worked. Dude, it if you ever do a solo album, album, that is the cover. Thanks. <laughs> Take two. He has one. Johnny, when is that record coming out? Shut up. <laughs> it's called She Said She Found Her Soulmate. It, 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 I've heard most of it. It's very good. Uh, Johnny, any release date? <laughs> this year, for sure. All right. It's this year. All right. I don't want to disturb you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. I don't know. Right. Fucking, let's go to the ocean and play, play shows. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea, right? The, uh, the anchor has been making this horrific uh, noise. And they say, they say, that's a mild one. But they say it's not anything to be worried about. It's safe. But they said that about the Titanic um, as well. So you know, keep in mind we're going to set the clock ahead. Now. 
But yeah, this is where wherever we are in the boat, I believe it's the very front, the anchor is nuts. And then this house is because they do a they do Broadway style shows. Sounds safe to you? Restroom. I was looking to see if uh, there's any catering up here or Debbie Gibson left anything behind. But I thought walking up here was a bad idea. And now I'm seeing uh, all kinds of things. Um, but uh, going down is a much worse idea. Especially when I'm going to uh, have one hand hold on because I have to talk about it. Doesn't help. Uh, the last step is to Alright, it's 
Stephen show is over. Actually, the entire Stephen Piercy portion of the cruise is over. And uh, it went good. It was a good show. Stephen sounded good. People were very happy. Tonight, it's probably about 11 o'clock right now. I am going to have... By the way, we're walking again. We're on the third floor. We're going to be walking to 11. If you watch the show, you know it. This one goes to 11. Marky Ramon at 11.30 of the world famous uh, Ramones. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. I think the only Rock and Roll Hall of Famer on the boat. Anyway, I'm excited to catch all of that. They have a theme every night here. Tonight's punk versus preps. Whatever that means. Probably gonna pass out. Anyway, next up Aruba. We're almost there. The got the coconut rangers again. I don't think that's made a ranger. Hummingbird cake. There's no hummingbird in this, is there? You think, it, you think there's hummingbird in that cake? Uh, Trace Leche's may contain alcohol. Same could say about my companion. He's, uh, and Matt was moonlighting. Mo I, was, work, I was doing an arpeggio. Working for tips. I was doing an arpeggio. I liked it. All right, Matt. Well, that was fun. I'll see you in the... I would like to have heard it. He, he won't work. Should we, should we just walk up here? All right. People put these things on their doors. This is the opposite of what I want. I wouldn't want anyone at my door. But obviously, bad language is the key. Uh, so if you're looking around, uh, but, uh, and there's some more bad language, but this is, uh, uh, anus is more medical than sexual, but uh, horny, um, I spelled wrong. And I hate to be the grammar police, but now I've corrected it. 119 now, so Marky Ramon's band is great. Uh, Ramon's greatest band of all time. Uh, I don't care who's on this boat. Uh, what's going? I don't know what's going on out here. They closed the outside because of wind. I think maybe there's a movie out here. Any fun boat? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Maybe I don't know. All right, almost time to go to bed. Do it. Well, this is gonna do it for tonight. It's crazy to think how close to Colombia and Ecuador and uh, uh, Havana and Cancun and uh, South America. I mean, I don't know. It's crazy to think 
all those places that uh, are so close. Well, right, not right next door, but close enough. It's a little left at two in the morning and uh, gonna wrap up another tour there Sunday, March 3rd, 2.07. Uh, there's a shot of the boat. Uh, so you, you, know, you all wanted to see that.